Mortal Kombat fans. As you know, the new Mortal Kombat movie trailer just came out, so today we're gonna be looking at some really cool bootleg Mortal Kombat Legos. Oh man, this is gonna be an exciting day because while a couple sellers on eBay have been taking some of our favorite Mortal Kombat characters and Legoizing them, starting with this guy right here, good old Scorpion. Wow, look at that. <laughs> ah, now these aren't official, of course, but you can buy them on eBay and I gotta say these things are awesome. Now these guys come in sets of 16 and we're gonna look at all of them today. So here's the first one, good old Scorpion. Oh, he's one of my favorite. And he looks pretty darn cool. Look at that face. Wow, I love it. So, yep, he's got that cool mask on his head. Let's see what he looks like underneath. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. It looks like he's going to stay like that. But he looks pretty cool. He's got the uh, yellow all over his body. He's got the cool shoulder pads on each side of his arms. And what's that? A big old sigh he comes with. So, yeah, there is Scorpion. And, of course, now we're going to have to pull out a little Sub-Zero. Oh, another one of my favorites. Ooh, look at the accessory he comes with. A big old scythe, ooh, to take down his opponent with. I think we get the same exact outfit, but just painted differently. Look at that, we got blue over his mouth there, which is pretty cool. And then his outfit looks different. Looks like we get a different kind of uh, pattern on that outfit. Let's see if we can take his mask off. And uh, nope, just, uh, oh man, cool. Oh, I guess there's a, a mouth underneath, so that's kind of cool. Cause that's what Sub-Zero looks like, and I love his eyes. Ooh, just like all we know and love from the video game. Super cool, they're all blue and icy. Now we just have to pit these two deadly foes together, and of course they'll be fighting each other in no time. Ooh, I will freeze you. I think not. Get over here. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, I love these guys. All right, so with those two iconic characters out of the way, let's see what else we can get in this package here. It looks like next up is a reptile. Oh, I just gotta love this guy. He's half man, half reptile. It looks like he has the same exact parts as the other guys here, just painted differently. Because, well, they are the same, because they do have the same outfit, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> you knew that would happen. But he's all got some green printing on his outfit there, and he's got this uh, big old axe, which, I'm not sure why he has an axe, it's kind of weird, but that's his accessory. And add him to the fray, and, oh yeah, those are my three favorite characters right there, Sub-Zero, Reptile, and Scorpion. All right, I'm so glad they did all these guys in Lego form. Let's see, next up is, oh, it's Liu Kang. Oh, yeah. That's one of the main Chinese fighters coming at you. He's got the cool bandana and the long hair, just like he is in the video game. And, ooh, look at that chiseled chest. <laughs> He's going to beat some people up. He's got the red, black pants, too. So it looks like they went for the classic look, which is fine by me. I just love the classic video game because all these guys look really classic-esque. Oh, I love it. So, yep, getting the original team together. And let's hope all the original guys from the first game are here. And, oh, yeah, there's another one. Good old Johnny Cage. <laughs> Look at him all Hollywooded up. Oh, he's got the cool glasses on. And this is Johnny right on his chest there. So, that's pretty cool. And I gotta say, for a bootleg, boy, they did a great job for these on these guys. It's got a cool hair and a ponytail there. And then the cool pants, which are plated. Nice. And then that gives us four of the original seven fighters from the first video game. Will they all be here? I'm not sure. We'll find out. And let's see. Next up is, oh, the cool God of Thunder, Raiden. Wow, they did a great job on him. Look at that. We get that cool hat on. I love that hat. And it looks like he's got some arm pads as well, just like in, on his outfit on the game. And yes, our whole entire outfit looks really true to the original as well so that's cool let's see take his hat off ah <laughs> man he's got that cool outfit on love it so now we can add one more og fighter to the mix giving us a total of five from the first game of course it would have been cool a lot cooler if they gave him lightning bolt or something so he can electrocute his foes <laughs> okay let's see who else we can grab out of this pack here and oh cool it's oh i also love this guy good old smoke which was a secret fighter from the second video game. Cool, he looks just like the other characters with the shoulder pads and he actually looks like the same as Reptile here in design, only gray in color. And I'm not sure what this is up with that one hand that is uh, blue. <laughs> Shouldn't that be gray so it could be smoky in color? <laughs> I think that's what they're going for. And of course now we have a total of two characters from the second video game. All right, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Moe, who I'm going to pick out this time, and, oh, look at that, it's Shao Kahn, oh, the main antagonist from the second video game. 
Wow, he looks cool. He looks rough and tough with that awesome face mask. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see if we can take that off. And nice. So, yeah, he's got that cool helmet on Ugh, over his head. And look at this. He's got that cool weapon in his hand. Looks like a banana thing of some sort. And look at his shoulder pads. Whoa, this is our deadly. All kinds of spikes on him. And, yep. Looks like he's got the same kind of outfit on that he has in the video game. Who also made his debut in the second video game along with these other guys? Hey, let's see, go back to the box here and now we pull out another scorpion? Oh, this is weird. Yeah, this one has swords. Where's the other one? Let's see, okay, it looks like we get two of these guys. So this must be the classic one and this must be the modern one based on their outfits there. And now that I'm looking at this guy side by side, I think I like the classic one better. Because that's, well, the one I grew up with. And it looks like the exact same as these other guys now. Same patterns on their outfit and everything. So yeah, this must be the classic one from the first game. Yeah, I'm not sure why we got two scorpions. It's kind of weird, but yeah, there they are. So all right, no more duplicates, guys. I want original characters. And ooh, here we have Baraka. <laughs> I guess it's a, as original as you can get. Because just like that face, well, I'm going to get you. <laughs> as you know, he has big blades on his hands. So they just give him these things to uh, act as those blades. Yeah, I guess that works. And his outfit, eh, his outfit looks pretty cool. He's got a couple skulls on it. <laughs> if you can see that, that's pretty neat. And I think his debut is also in the Sega video game along with these other guys. So now we've got four. All right, looks like we still got a lot of them in here. So let's see, next up is, oh, it's Jax. Yep, he was also in the second video game. He's got the uh, arms, mechanical arms, because his were ripped off. <laughs> And he looks great. Yeah, he's got the dog tag on his chest there. And he's ready for war. Yeah, Jax. All right, let's get back to this box here. And whoa, look at that. Oh, man, it's a double-sized figure. Oh, the figure of Goro. <laughs> yeah, look at that face. I think the face could use some work. I think they could have made it look more like Goro. But uh, nope, that's what we got. And this is kind of cool. They made a double-chested figure. <laughs> I like how they designed this so that the bandolier on his chest goes all the way around on his body. It's kind of cool that did that. And then he's got this cool weapon, which is the mace. And don't Goro here also showed up in the first game, not as a playable character, but as one of the uh, bad guys that you had to beat to get to the last guy. Cool, so now we get six in all from the first game. Okay, next up is the figure of, oh, it's Rain. <laughs> He was a later incarnation. Let's see, I think he came from the third or fourth one. I can't remember exactly which one. But yeah, he looks exactly like Sub-Zero and the other guys here, only purple in color. And wherever there's rain, you also get the figure of Iron Mac. <laughs> there he is in the red outfit. And oh man, they didn't even try to make him look different, just a uh, different color. Talk about the easiest guy to put in Lego form. All you have to do is design one of these guys and uh, we can make all six. <laughs> all you have to do is change the color. Oh, you lazy guys. All right, I think we're getting to the end here. And next up is, ooh, Kung Lao. And he came out in the later video games, I think in, uh, what, the third installment? But he's got that cool hat that slices his enemies. Yeah, it could be a little larger on the brim, but uh, yeah, I guess this works. And it looks like, oh man, the last character we have is Katana. Oh man, it's Shao Kahn's daughter. And yeah, she looks pretty cool. She's got the uh, mask over her mouth there and the cool long hair and she looks great. And with that, ba-bam, we have ourselves 16 figures in all of this Mortal Kombat custom-made series available only on eBay. And I gotta say, you get a lot of different characters in this mix, 16 in all, which is puppetastic. Sorry kids, there they are, the really cool Mortal Kombat figures. And if you want to get these for yourself, make sure you check out eBay because that's where I got them. And they look pretty darn cool and they're pretty inexpensive too. You get a whole set for like 20 bucks or something, which is pretty darn cheap. So, all right kids, good luck in getting your Mortal Kombat figures and get over here.